These super realistic videos is generated by Kling 2.0, the latest video generation model. By the end of the video, you'll also be able to generate these super realistic videos. I'll teach you how you can get the best out of Kling 2.0. And this video is all you need if you want to create AI generated videos with the best quality. I'm Adit and you're watching Skill Curve. What we are gonna do in this video is pretty simple. First, we will compare the video model of Google's VO2 and other video models that which is better Kling 2.0 or the other models. Then we will test out some of the various lot of prompts on the Kling 2.0 to see what kind of video it generates. Is it realistic or is it the same as previous one? Then we will also cover the Colors 2.0 which is a latest image generation model provided by the same company Kling AI. So we will also test it out. So it's gonna be a very interesting video. So let's compare the first video which is a kind of neural network, a kind of AI neural network that's blinking. So you can see on the left side it's by Kling 2.0 on the right side it's from VO2 which is by Google by the way okay now you can see the difference is clear the movement of camera in VO2 is very shaky and it's very fast on the other hand you can see the glowing animation coming from Kling 2.0 is absolutely good I'm really amazed the way it's glowing purple and blue at the same time there are different neural networks they all having the same kind of movement which VO2 lacks and this is why I'm saying Kling 2.0 is a clear winner when it comes to make such highly realistic physics based animation well this is not only this we will compare much more videos so let's go to the another video so another video we generated it's pretty simple first we generated a plane you can see the plane is landing on a sea then again taking off this is a very simple prompt you can see on the screen but look at both they both did a very well job here. VO2 animation and Kling 2.0 animation is almost similar except Kling 2.0 is much better here when it comes to splashing the water when the Kling 2.0 splashing the water, the physics and everything is looking perfectly clear. Like imagine adding a sound here and you'll see it's looking like literal film. But one thing I went to, but one thing you need to notice is that the thunderstorm, the thunderstorm is looking so real. Like look at Kling 2.0 C video. The black clouds and the the way this black private jet is landing and again the taking off is absolutely something we need to learn from better than CGI. However, VO2 is video is also very good, so we can say both did a very well job here. But Kling 2.0 is absolutely clear winner when it comes to small details. Okay, now another video I've generated is a, a surfer, you know, a young white guy surfing through the sea and. You can see a clear winner here. VO2 generated the video but it's from side waves which makes it unrealistic but the guy who's surfing through the sea and the first video generated by Kling 2.0 it makes it much better. Like look at the video first. The way water and the, all the waves are acting in the perfect physics manner, the direction of water and everything is looking so clear. And one thing you should notice is the guy wearing the suit is reflecting the sunlight which makes it even realistic. It's properly wet and I really like the Kling 2.0 version. However, VO2 is also good but again I am not a very big fan of VO2 because look at this. It's so 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 weird. Okay, now another fun prompt I gave is a Japanese father with his daughter uh, in a carnival festival type of video and you can compare both of them. Both of them are looking good but make sure this is not VO2, this is from Minimax Halo AI. This is also a very good model when it comes to generating videos by the way and just compare both of them. You can see one thing notice is that the guy of Japanese guy from Kling 2.0 has a very real expression when it comes to making the video while the guy in Minimax one is just camera movement more like a round 360 degree camera angle and that's it that's the way the video ends but Kling one has not much camera movement but instead even in the background people are actually looking so realistic movement okay now we have seen enough comparison but let's more comparison so another comparison we did is a football match prompt so it's simple just football match prompt and look at both 
Kling 2.0 is a clear winner here. Like, look at it's looking like a literal live match. The jersey, the physics, the ball of physics, the making it dust around. It's something we need to talk about. The goal and the every moment, even the audience is looking so real. Like the fans are wearing yellow jerseys. Okay, I am really amazed. On the other side, Minimax video is so 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 bad. Like the players are getting vanished out of the video, and I don't know what to say, but now you have an idea what kind of cling it is. Okay, now we will test out some of the prompts to see how cling 2.0 is reacting to them and what kind of video it is generating. So first video which is on your screen. So now you can see the prompt and video on your screen. I won't read all the prompt and bore you but instead we will talk about the videos instead. So you can see the first video starts with a robot which is looking like a breakdown character from Transformer series but remember there is no mention of Transformer in this entire prompt so one thing that's making it very interesting another thing is the transformation video looks really interesting the physics and the way car is just removing dust is absolutely banger and i'm really impressed the way car is just making and drifting all over the road the background is also very realistic the trees and the building skyscrapers i'm really impressed the way Kling made it I'm impressed. So another video which we need to talk about is something which is very very phenomenal. So this video is a orange BMW races through Saturn's ring. You can see the entire prompt on your screen but something we need to see is how well this is looking. Like how cool it is. Like the car is going through Saturn's ring and the camera just getting far and far and slowly fading and look at the stars in the background and the glowing one. Okay. I'm really impressed by this. Okay, let's talk about another car video which is a basically point of view camera mounted just above the Formula 1 drivers. During a high speed race, the space car weaves dynamically across the track and you can read the entire problem I tell you. But look at this. This is generated by Kling 2 by the way and look at this point of view. It's looking so real like you are the main driver. It's almost looking like an F1 racing game and I'm really impressed the way it's real. Except one thing I want to say, the car movement might be looking opposite at the same time looking uh, weird. But one thing I'd say, the main car which is our protagonist one is absolutely good and I'm impressed. The way wheels are moving is also very real by the way. Okay, another video we have is a massive dragon-like character flying in incredible speeds through a narrow different kind of mountains. And damn, look at this. Another, okay, another prompt we did a high speed car chase in a city styled after a real scene from GTA 5. So we just prompted to make a scene from GTA 5 and look at the video. Okay, I'm really done the way Kling is presenting it. It's looking like a serious game scene. However, one thing I've noticed the guy here has a very weird gun vanished, but the blast and everything looking seriously good. The police lighting and everything. Okay, I'm really impressed the way it is. Okay, so another prompt we gave a classical dramatic aerial battle over the ocean at sunset and look at the video. Just look at the video. And look at the video. Just look at the video it is. It is so cool. Look the dragon, the dinosaur we are fighting and there are so many different planes which are very old plane by the way. But the movement and the camera movement is something Kling 2.0 has mastered. Like it's destroying the water ships but again it's absolutely amazing. Okay, another video we have is very simple. There are so many multiple animals dancing in the disco and it's basic generation I tried to generate and it's absolutely good. I mean, the camera movement and the disco light, it's fun. It's kind of, it's very useful when you want to generate videos that requires uh, animation which for kick children and something. Okay, another prompt we did a handheld device filming action scene of a girl surfing with a gun explosion behind and amazing camera movement. Now one thing we need to talk about is the way prompt is written. So if you want to get better outputs from the Kling 2.0, make sure you always give such prompt with comma with proper punctuations so your prompt gets a little better. Now talk about the video, it's simply awesome. No need, no words needed. Look at see the explosion behind the girl and the movement of camera and the surfing, the way she's surfing. And even the gun is looking very much interesting. 
Okay, now so another we prompt we give a grey metal bird with a red envelope in its brake flies to open a window and sits on the window sill. And look at the video. So it's kind of metallic bird. So our intention was to make it a little bit robotic. But the way Link 2.0 presented it, it's absolutely nailed it. Look at the bird is, you know, having this red envelope and going to the curtains. The movement of curtains makes it even much better. The white and a little bit transparent light and the way it gets open whenever the crow sits. Okay, I'm really impressed by this. One thing I want to talk about is the way camera moved in Klukum 2.0 is something very interesting that amazes me. So another fun prompt I gave a hyper realistic fantasy video of a cute rabbit as a cute rabbit paddles for and both the bicycle flowers along with dirt broth and bloom in sequence and you can see the video it's super cute I'm really interested. So the video is very simple, the way it's going forward, the cute rabbit using bicycles and there's so many butterflies, birds, like angels and flowers. Okay, <laughs> this is seriously good. Okay, this is one is very interesting video where a stormy jungle, a white horse prints full speed through a muddy path and the guy riding it. Okay, this animation video is something we need to take off. Like, look at the video, it's a lizard behind and the horse running, the movement, the water splashing. Physics is incredibly good here. The background clouds and thunderstorm make it even better. So I say this video is 10 out of 10, the way Link 2.0 generated it. I mean, it's literally better than most of the cartoon movies generated by some big brands. Okay, another video we generated by Kling AI is pretty simple, which the prompt is a girl spinning. And look at the video. The movement of hair from the body curve, everything is perfectly fine. Okay, so we generated a very interesting video by the way and you can see create a thrilling cinematic scene with intense motion depicting an astronaut hurtling towards the horizon of a massive black hole. Oh gosh, look at the video. Absolutely colorful and the black hole, the way looking black hole is so real like the, the surrounding lights and atmosphere. Oh gosh, I did not believe such AI can make such content. Okay, so we prompted a soldier walks in with a gun, there are bombs, lot of smoke in the background and Kling 2.0 generated a really interesting video. Now let's talk about the Kling's image generation model which is called Colors 2.0. It starts from K by the way. So it's the interface looking pretty similar to the what normal image generation model looks like. Here's the prompt box, here's the hints and here if you want to create an image from a reference just upload it here and Kling will start generating the image so now we have set of prompts that we will try and let's see what kind of colors 2.0 image generates so first prompt we generated an astronaut planting a tree on an alien planet made entirely on crystals the prompt looks really interesting and we will have the ratio of 16 ratio 9 here for output would be 4 and resolution would be high you can always come for standard one but we are testing the grounds so we will just do as it is Okay, so the first prompt we generated is an astronaut planting a tree on a planet which is alien made of crystals and you can see the images on your screen and I really liked it. You can see the sun rising on the, on the top the tree is and on the bottom side all the crystals looking really impressive. Another prompt we gave was very a little bit imaginary, a dark wizard controlling a swirling galaxy like a magic spell and standing on the top of a mountain under a blood sky. And damn, it's looking seriously cinematic. All the images looking similar, but one thing I would say is Colors 2.0 did a very good job here. Another prompt we gave is a high speed race between armed dinosaur in a neon desert with sparks flying and massive laser signs overhead. And look at the battle between dinosaur and laser flying overhead. Oh gosh, it's it's okay. It's 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 not that realistic and not that much impressive, but colors still did a very good job here. Uh, another prompt we did a retro 80 synthwave city where buildings are saved like musical instruments and people ride glowing hoverboards and look at the images. Uh, old meme style images I got reminded of and all the images are looking seriously good. So the last prompt we gave a peaceful zen garden floating in the middle of the space with bonsai tree with koi fish swimming in the mid air with tiny asteroids orbiting gently. and. The images 
in front of you. So now you know much better the Kling 2.0's comparison with other models. Now you know how Kling 2.0 generates video. And now you know the latest model by Kling AI, which is Colors 2.0 when it comes to image generation, is fire. If you like this video, just simply click on the like button, share it, and for more such cutting edge tutorial, latest technologies, videos every day, just subscribe to the channel.